In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can what unlock your Excel sheet that has been protected with a password. Now, if you look at this sheet, I have set a protection password on it just to prevent some corrections or something to be done on this sheet. But I forgot the password. Now, if I try to add any content, it tells me that this sheet has been protected. Now, I don't even remember the password that I use. So if I go to review and I want to unprotect it, I need to enter my password. But here in the case, I've forgotten the password that I use. So I'm going to show you a simple way that you can unlock this Excel sheet without even knowing the password. So now let's go straight into it. So let me just close this file. And now let's go to the destination of our file. So this is the file that we want to edit and make changes but we've forgotten the password that we set on it so one thing that we need to do is that i will ask you to create a copy of this file so that in case you mess something up you can recover it so let me just do ctrl c and then ctrl v to create a copy of it so i've created a copy so now we're going to do changes to this one now, one thing is that we need to show our file extension. Well, I believe you're on Windows and you want to show it. You can just simply go to the view. And now when you come to the view, then you check this box file name extension. Now, when you check it out, you will see the file name extension has come. That is XLSX. That is Excel format. So what we're going to do is that we're going to just rename this file. So just come to the rename here. And now we'll just change the extension to what zip. So remember the dots should be there. So you just add zip to replace it. Now it will ask you that you want to change this file extension and it can even make your file unusable. So just go to yes now. Now when you go to yes, you realize that this Excel file has been turned into a zip file. Now this zip file contains all the various components of our excel sheet now what we need here is that we have to go to this folder so when you go to this directory you will see another files and folders inside and then we'll come to the worksheet here so when you come to the worksheet and this is the sheet of our excel file so we need to modify this file so in order for us to do it so let me just create a copy of this one on the desktop so we we'll just edit this one so i've just created a copy here by just dragging onto the desktop now this is what we are going to do so what we we'll do is that we just have to edit this file in the notepad so just right click on it and now you go to edit now when you open it in the notepad you will see a whole lot of codes and then you know don't get confused here so just come here and see if you are on word wrap so what we're going to do is that we just have to come to the edit menu and then we'll just search for protect so we just search for protect so we want to see where exactly we've set what a password or we've protected our file so i'll just go to finest now when you go to the finest you realize that this excel sheet contains a protection so this is the protection code it start from here so what we're going to do is that we just have to highlight please make sure you don't omit anything so we just and you find the closing tag of it over here so look at it the sheet protection start from here and now it ends over here so this is what we are going to delete so we are going to delete this thing from our xml file so i'll just clear it by backspacing it now when you finish you make sure that you save the changes so i've saved the changes now we can close this one now we need to replace this file back to our main directory so let me just go straight to where we have our file that we were editing so this is it so i'll just open it and then go to the excel and then come to the worksheet so this is the file we edited so i'll just drag it here and now i'll just copy and then replace it so now let's go back to our main file all right so now after you are done with the changes we need to what uh, rename this file from the extension of zip to excel so what i'm going to do is that i'll just right click on it and then go to rename 
so when you go to rename then we need to add the extension so we are moving it from the zip file to what to the excel so you just add the x l x x so that is it so we just have to click outside and it tells you you want to what rename this extension so we just say yes so our file has come back to the normal so now let's open it and check whether the protection is still there so now let's see if i want to add something yes so i'm able to add content i'm able to even delete content from it so that is how you can do to remove or unlock any password that you have protected your sheet with now this can help you to what uh, recover your files without even remembering your password it can happen to any sheet if you have more sheets you can do the same thing to that so let me know in the comment section if you are having such challenges and now let's see how you can also solve it now please don't forget to share this video if today happens to be your first time please kindly subscribe to our channel see you in the next video bye bye